Hey guys, it's me. My name is Alex. Most of you probably don't know me if you're living out in the internet world, but if you live out in the real world, my world, our world, then you know who I am. So uh, I decided to start this vlog series just because one, some of you may not know this, but I am currently going through physical therapy for a broken femur and some torn MCLs in the right knee. And uh, it's going pretty well. I'm about, I'm about three months in and I'm able to walk. It's just I can't support too much weight. Tune in next time or in future videos for more insights into the world of disability. Or go to my Instagram at Nishisan, N-I-S-H-I-S-A-N-N. -I -I -N -N. You can see some of my uh, older vlogs that I did to keep myself sane while I was on hydrocodone, like six pills a day during that first month, crazy. But that's a story for another day. Today we're, talk we're here to talk about the present. And this story that I want to talk to you about, it's kind of like a lesson, I guess. I don't know, maybe I grew a little as a person. Who knows? Hope I did. I was out in the real world, that scary place outside of these four sides and four corners. And imaginary friends and my ability to connect with people in a very strange, yet interesting way. I was out in the real world, you know, walking on a street, just walking home. Uh, I was at a uh, Metro PCS earlier today because I need to get my phone replaced. So I'm walking home, you know, I stopped by, I don't know, just started going to places, checking out like uh, you know, the Salvation Army. I don't know why. Something interesting you may find about me when I go to the mall is uh, it's not really like a mall experience for me. I actually treat it more like a museum experience. Like I'm a window shopper, I don't really buy anything. Sometimes I do, but most of the time I just go to look at people, look at things, look at objects. Think about where it came from, why it's there. I'm freaky like that, know what I'm saying? Um, eventually I finally found my way home almost. I was crossing this intersection that's like right outside my house. So I'm waiting at the light, right? And as I'm waiting for the light to turn green for me to cross, this lane that's supposed to be making a left, you know, in, in through the crossing that I'm wanting to go to, is uh, there's a green arrow. So that means they can go left. There's a green arrow pointing that way, so they can go that way. And I'm like, what's going on? Where are the cars? I could have sworn there was like a huge line of cars. So I go look to my right. There's this guy in his car, and he's like looking down, right? He's looking at his phone, and he's just totally oblivious. And this light, it's been green. And, you know, I'm kind of like, I'm there with my crutch, and I'm just like, how much should I yell? Is that my place as a, as a pedestrian? Am I crossing a line? My ego said no. So I was like, um, excuse me. And, you know, I said, excuse me, kind of loud. And he, he looks up, he's like, what do you want? And I was like, um, uh, the light's green, light's green. And he looked, and then looked, the light turned red. And he was, I don't know, I think he was really frustrated because like, there was like this huge line of like eight freaking cars behind him. Like, I'm surprised no one honked. I think they're just patient. Like, and this guy, he's like, ah, oh, and he was so frustrated. And this is this next part really like socially confused me. I didn't know how to interpret it. He, he just spat out the window. Like, like it wasn't just like a, it wasn't just like a spit. He like sprayed out the window. Like he was just angry. But he spat out the window, and this huge spray of like mucus and like saliva just like. <laughs> He did that, and I thought that is that is really weird. I I don't know if he spat at me or if he just spat in my general direction, or he would just I think he was just spitting at the world. Maybe the guy behind him didn't know how to interpret it either, and he just thought that guy just spat at a disabled person on the street, but not at him, but like symbolically, like he spat his feelings at this poor guy who's trying to cross the street with a crutch. So I cross the street, and I'm like, you know, a younger me would have gotten mad. A younger me would have been like. Mm. Uh, I don't think I was that wild, but I was walking home, and um, I'm pretty close. I'm just thinking like, what, what, what was that? What, what was he just mad? Was he mad at me? What does it matter? And there's the real question, which indirectly is also the answer to the dilemma. Woo! And that dilemma is, why do I care so much about what this person thinks about me? He's a stranger, and I think a lot of people walk around the streets. You know, you may people the universe you might find this relatable you might just be emotional you might just be very like impulsive spontaneous and you'll just respond with whatever you're feeling deep down inside and that may be like throwing out you know some some fingers at him or, or like yelling at him or like you know just you know, f off you jerk enjoy staying in line and, and having to appease the, the eight angry people behind you good luck with that you know i digress 
And um, if there's anything to walk away from this experience, yeah. wa- hobble more like more like hobble away. It would be you know everyone's just trying to make their way in this crazy world. Sometimes they get a little lost. Sometimes they don't pay attention, and they'll just respond in a certain way. That's what's 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 sitting inside them. What's just marinating within them, and they're not sure what it is. Maybe they don't even pay attention to how they appear to the outside world, or how they feel, and how they portray themselves in the outside world. But he, he was very out there. And so when you run into something like that, I think the best thing you can do is just stay calm, people. Just stay calm. Think to yourself, well, gosh, you know, I don't really know him. Who was that guy? That should be the question. That should be the question that you obsess over. Instead of like, well, what a jerk. Why? What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? No. What was his story? Uh, don't really care. Bye. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, it's a, it was very interesting. I've never had that happen to me. Just like a very... <laughs> it was crazy. You should have seen it. And no, you, didn't, you, you wouldn't want to see it. And people express themselves a certain way. And sometimes, you know, it'll just be completely out of nowhere. It'll be a, a spontaneous situation. They weren't paying attention. And it just it just can't comes out. And in, in, in moments like that, we should be forgiving to ourselves for not being able to read the minds of others. And on that note, I'm gonna end this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Please keep uh, in touch. Keep watching videos. Don't know what's gonna happen. I mean, who knows? I might stick to the same bit for a really long time, like just talking about really really difficult experiences with people outdoors i mean it wasn't really that difficult i mean this could probably be worse but i mean i could just do this and you know talk to you and just do this with my hand the whole time you like that production value i'm afraid that i'll be forgotten afraid i'll open my fridge and all of my food is rotten afraid like i'm wearing a dodgers hat inside of boston i'm afraid like i just saw lincoln walk inside of an opera I'm afraid like I won't walk out and go see my doctor Cause he may say when I see him